guys welcome back to my channel today i want to do my february favorites let's jump right into it i wanted to include a few things like fashion things beauty things and also a few of random lifestyle things i will start with the fashion things my first favorite is my wool coat it's from Paul Costello. it's from the black label i think they do have different labels i hope you can see this if you ask my friends they will tell you i wear it every freaking day i can already see myself wearing it in summer with a bikini underneath i really love the shape it's a classic coat shape i don't know how to describe it and um, it has two pockets in the front i like that it's pretty long i bought it a bit oversized um, because i like the look of it and it's so warm because it's wool um, if you go on my instagram i will link it here and in the info box down below you can see i'm wearing this coat with every outfit i'm wearing it if i wear like sneakers and i wear it with high heels i wear it with everything basically i really love it and it's something i think everyone should own like a classic camel color wool coat or if you can afford it cashmere or camel hair but i gone for a wool coat because my budget is not yet in the cashmere level of coats speaking of cashmere we are coming to my second favorite cashmere. here in germany the winter is pretty freaking cold and we had like minus 10 degrees last week so i do need a lot of cashmere sometimes i'm snuggled up in a cashmere jumper in a cashmere like jogger and a cashmere blanket where everything you can afford to buy in cashmere get it it will last you for years you will always stay warm it will never look cheap it's a great material so soft oh i love it i love it so much <laughs> The next favorite, you can probably already guess if you watched my last video, is my Pochette Matisse from Louis Vuitton. I love this bag. I can go on and on and on about how much I love it. I wear it every day. It's like my uniform to wear this bag with like a cashmere jumper and like my wool coat. It's just classic and simple to wear. You always look put together. I simply love it. Another favorite is my Hermes Twilly. I mean, look at those colors. The Twilly was a gift from my boyfriend and his family. I was so happy they got it for me. Um, yeah, I love it. I mean, look at it. You can use it to protect the handle like I do at the moment, but I also often put it in a bow tie on the edge here. So it just looks pretty and you can also use it to put it in your hair or put it on your neck like a choker i think it's really versatile and i use it for a lot of things so the money is well spent uh, because some of you might think why spend 150 bucks on a like little scarf thingy do it trust me it's worth it now we talked about a few of my favorite fashion items for february wow there were a lot of f's in this <laughs> sentence we can go into beauty stuff so first up for beauty is my anastasia beverly hills american doll liquid lipstick i love this i wear it on my lips today so you can see oh my god i have like a few friends here they're called hugo and i don't know i need more names for my pimples it's totally matte it's opaque and like one layer i wear it a lot and everyone is always telling me what are you wearing on your lips it's so unfair it doesn't go anywhere it looks flawless like four hours later when you have eaten and drank something and it's probably always this one get it it's so great the next beauty favorite is the revitalash eyelash conditioner yeah like this it has like a small little wand you just put it on there um you can do it once a day or twice a day uh, for the first 
three weeks. I did it twice a day in the evening and in the morning. Now I just used it in the evening. I try to show you but my that those are my natural lashes right now and oh my god okay wait <laughs> I have to sort myself out but I think they're pretty long and if you knew my lashes before I do have really short natural lashes and this really stepped up my lash game because I really don't like lash extensions I think they are always looking a bit cheap but if you like them please do you I don't want to judge you can live your life however you want but me personally I don't like fake things on me she's telling you with like a whole face of makeup on no but I don't like fake lashes or fake nails or like fake people so let's get into my weird favorites. I have some lifestyle products and also a bit of music and film stuff. Yeah, I'm using my cashmere jumper to clean my MacBook. Like, richest thing I've ever done, probably. <laughs> This is my MacBook Pro, um, it's the newest edition and it's the first MacBook I ever bought. Before I had an old laptop which was 10 years old, it was so slow. I called it sloth, it was, oh, it was awful, it was a nightmare and I thought I need to buy myself a better laptop to survive uni. So I managed to buy myself my first MacBook. I use it so much for just writing my blog posts and for uni and for surfing around when I'm sitting on the sofa to be honest because I don't have a tablet or something. That's a favorite and also I want to mention this beautiful laptop case uh, my best friend got me. It's like light pink and it's leather and it's like metallic oh my gosh you guys i mean how could you not love this the next favorite is pretty random but if you don't love this just leave <laughs> i don't know it's a small tiny kai boy as an ape it's like a little monkey i mean how can you not love this little face? Maybe some of you are like into home decor as I am and then you probably know what this is. Um, it's a Danish designer called Kai Boyesen who made these little wooden figures. He intended to make them as like toys for kids but nowadays um, they really gone up to like a designer piece. We have like a bigger one as well. Wait, let, let me get it one moment. <laughs> so this is our bigger ape. You can see now how tiny this one is. Look! So this one is called Bobo. Yeah, you can think I'm totally crazy for naming like a wooden wooden monkey in my flat, but that's what you get on this channel. So please subscribe if you like weirdos. And yeah, this is the smaller version. It's like his little baby. I don't know. I'm a sucker for monkeys, to be honest. I love monkeys. I have to Google it. I have to Google a word. I'm sorry. There are only two favorites left and I start with this one. I always love Kendrick Lamar. I love his music, I love his flow and his voice. I think it's really unique. He's not like one of these rappers you hear on the radio and you can't tell which one it is. If Kendrick raps, you bloody know it's Kendrick. My boyfriend and I were happy enough to get some tickets for his damn tour. I was so happy Kendrick came to Cologne and the tickets were not that expensive so we could go and Cologne is like four hours away from us so we had to drive and we had to drive back in the night 
on the same day but it was totally worth it he was so good and we were so lucky because he played all of our favorite songs god i'm talking like our and we like this couple of thingy it is coincidence that the favorite songs of kendrick lamar of my boyfriend and me are like the same he has some really really cool songs um which are not that popular and he played everything he even played goosebumps where he is the feature to travis scott and it's one of my favorite parts he ever did it's so flowy i want to my life The next and the last favorite is a movie and it's called Get Out. If you haven't heard of it, where have you been? <laughs> Are you living under a rock? Normally I don't like horror movies, but this one it's like horror-ish. My boyfriend convinced me to watch it with him because he already watched it in the cinema. I was like, honey, I don't like horror movies. Why should I watch this movie? And he told me it is a horror movie in some ways but nothing really weird happens you're like what happens next i can feel something's happening but nothing's happening and he assured me that i will be fine and i won't break up in tears and hide under my blanket like i normally would with like every other horror movie there is i even cried watching scary movie so we watched it and Oh my gosh, I love this movie. All the actors and actresses were phenomenal. The main character is this young black man who is in a really happy relationship with his white girlfriend and uh, they both want to visit her parents uh, which are living in like more of the countryside. He is a little frightened what they will think about this like interracial relationship and um, he asked her if she told her parents that he's black and she didn't. But his girlfriend is sure that her parents are okay with it and they voted for Obama and uh, she says they don't are racist at all. Then they visit her parents and the parents seem pretty nice. They are like academics. Her mother is a psychologist and her father is a doctor and they seem pretty... Um, educated but then her brother comes to eat dinner with them and you soon get a feeling that it will be a little weird and then it starts to become really creepy and the creepiest part about the film is that for like the first half of the film nothing horror-ish or supernatural or Anything you would expect in a horror mo movie is there. The real horror of this film is the racism. As a white girl, it's hard to connect with the feelings of a black young man. And for me, it was such a great insight in how it must feel to have this, this small racist comments all the time. I mean, I knew it before, but I never seen it in such a great movie experience go watch it if you haven't seen it already and if you have seen it already go watch it again anyways it's great i love it okay guys so that were all my february favorites let me know if you like them please leave me a comment what your favorites were and maybe i'll find something new for me if you liked the video, then please subscribe to my channel, click the little bell below so you get notified if I upload something new. And if you want to see a little bit more of the fashion side of me, then follow me on my Instagram. And have a nice week and see you guys soon. Ciao!
focus, focus. Focus. Why don't you focus? Come on.